Hi, it's Handy Andy Tech Tips here, and today I'm going to be giving you the truth on high-res audio files. You know, those files which are very expensive, which are supposedly better than CD quality, and which pop up on many websites, including the store for Neil Young's infamous Toblerone-shaped Pono Player. Now, if you've got a good eye for detail, you might notice that throughout this video, little numbers will pop up in the corner of your screen, like this one. So if you want any more info on any of the topics I talk about, just go to the area in the description that begins with the number. There you'll find links and additional info. Now back to the most important question, are high res files any better? Well to understand this, first we need to know about these two numbers here. What you see on the screen now is CD quality audio, 16 bit 44.1 kHz. But if you're buying high res tracks, you're likely to see 24 bit as the first number, and the last number might be something like 96 kHz or 192 kHz. So what do these things mean? The first one, 16-bit, is what we call the bit depth of the recording, and essentially what it controls is the dynamic range, that is, the loudest and quietest possible sounds that can be reproduced. Examples of high dynamic range music include classical recordings, which have a large difference between the loud and quiet sections, which probably makes them annoying to listen to in the car. Now the important thing to know is that CD or 16-bit audio can support up to 96 decibels of dynamic range, whereas 24-bit high-res files can support 144 decibels. So can you notice the difference? No. Now 96 decibels of dynamics is more than enough. In fact, I'm pretty sure that even the most dynamic classical music recordings still wouldn't use all of that range. And neither would any pop or rock albums released during the past 20 years, because over that time a phenomenon called the loudness war has taken over the music industry. The idea is that the louder a single or an album is mastered, the more copies it will sell, so music producers have been bumping up the volume. But the problem is that that results in a loss of dynamics. In fact, most pop albums today use less than one tenth of the potential dynamic range on a 16-bit recording. So there's not really much point going to 24-bit if even 16-bit's potential is being wasted. So that's the bit depth covered, but what about the other number? Well, that's called the sampling rate, and it tells you the highest possible frequency that can be represented. You might know that other animals are capable of hearing far higher frequencies than us humans can. For example, most bats are capable of detecting frequencies up to 80 kilohertz, but unfortunately humans don't quite go that far, we can only hear up to 20 kilohertz. But what about at the other end of the frequency spectrum, the really low bass? Well, around 15 or 20 hertz is probably the limit of our hearing there. So with these two figures in mind, it makes perfect sense that a CD quality audio file samples at 44.1 kHz. Why? Well, there's something called the Nyquist Theorem. You don't need to worry about it too much, but essentially what it says is that the maximum reproducible frequency, e.g. the highest frequency you can possibly record, is half of the sampling rate. So if we have 44.1 kHz and divide that in half, the maximum frequency is 22.05 kHz. And look at that, the frequency range that's covered is almost exactly the same as the range of human hearing. Now think about it, if 44.1 kHz covers the entire audible frequency spectrum, then why would we need any higher sampling rates like 96k or 192? The answer? We don't. And with that, I think we've just disproven all the so-called benefits of high-res audio. The improvement in the dynamic range is not necessary, the improvement in the frequency range is not necessary. And honestly, unless an album is released with completely different mastering than its CD equivalent, it will sound, wait for this, exactly the same. Anyway, I'm Handy Andy and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, then please subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below.